Okay, this video, it's going to be very similar to the previous video where I read in traffic counts without a buffer and I just did it with the file reader directly and read it in, read in this whole file um, character by character. In this case, I'm going to wrap the file reader in a buffered reader so that my buffered reader can read in entire lines at a time. Now the difference is instead of using a string builder, I'm going to actually uh, start with a list and I'm going to read these lines into a list. And a list is very similar to an array. Um, it's just going to be a convenience method so that I don't have to use a string builder and then split. So um, let's start looking at this program. Again, I have this average daily traffic count CSV file and it's just a plain CSV file. I'm going to uh, just read it in line by line. Um, and I'm going to start out with this path. I'm resolving the system.get property. This is my user directory, uh, which is going to be the executing um, directory uh, for this program. I'm going to resolve datasets, which is this folder right here. And then I'm going to resolve average daily traffic counts.csv. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is check if the file exists, and if not, I'll throw an exception. It should exist, though, because we can see it here. Um, the second thing I'm going to do is convert that path into a file and then pass the file reader into a buffered reader. Uh, you could also write this as file um, v file equals file dot to file. Um, and if we want to make this a little bit easier to read, I can say uh, refactor, rename, I'll call this file path, refactor all of those references. Um, file we need to import, that's why Eclipse is yelling at me. Java IO file. And instead of using uh, all of that in one line, I can say here's a new file reader. File reader, the file reader equals new file reader. I will pass the file in here. And we'll get rid of um, this stuff in here. I'll just pass in the file reader. So if that makes it a little bit easier to follow, just try that out. Um, starting with the file path, we are converting the file path into a file. And with that file, we're passing that into a file reader. And then the file reader, we're, we're going to wrap that in a buffered reader so that we can read in chunks rather than character data one at a time. So the first thing I'm going to do is do uh, reader.readline. I'm just going to prime a line in there. And then with my while loop, I'm going to say while line is not null, add it to my lines. And we'll see, this will go a whole lot faster than it did last time. I'm going to run this as a, um, or debug it as a Java application. Um, go back to the other view, because I like this view better. Um, and I'm going to just hit F6 in here. So I'm going to go to the next line. I've got my file path. It resolved it. It did exist. We printed that out. Um, here's my file. Here's my file reader. And here's me wrapping that file reader in a buffered reader. So the first thing I'll do is read a line in. And I got that header line of my CSV file. And after that, I'll create a new array list and this array list, it's essentially just a, an array of strings with um, some stuff on top of it to, to make it so you can very easily uh, have it resize automatically. Um, and this, is part of, this list is part of the collections framework in Java. Uh, so we're going to go into the while loop now. I'm going to add that into my list. You'll see my list has size 1 and it's got that in it. And now I'll read the next line. That line will not be null, so I'll just keep going. And eventually, the reader will keep going. You'll see this read line. Uh, it's going to read a line of text. And eventually, it'll return null, and we'll be done with reading the content. So I'm going to throw a breakpoint in here and hit F8 so that we skip all of that. Uh, we'll go back here. And I finally am going to have lines uh, count 1280 that was what we had in the other video and finally um, I'll close my reader 
So there's the lines, there's the first line, there's the second line. And so this is reading in um, data from a CSV file using a buffered reader, which is different from reading it character by character. And I'm reading this into an array list, which is part of the Java collections framework.